everybody. Welcome back to RimWorld Ideology modded as Witch Hunters, where I I am attempting to make the little town square here to look pretty good. Now, something I've always wanted was this grand uh, stell. I, I guess I'm pronouncing that right. I don't know. Um, but this is something I've been wanting in the town square, along with benches and whatnot. I think I'm going to deconstruct this door and put a wall in. It's kind of getting in the way. <laughs> <laughs> of what we're wanting to do here and uh, I think I'm gonna put a wall there so we can put something next to it like this barrel or something to beautify it right but um, it feels I don't know why this feels so difficult to me trying to do this <laughs> it feels like I'm just I don't know it, it feels like I've never done this before and I know I have I don't know why I'm just having such a hard time trying to think of how we want to decorate this and make it look and stuff so um, <clears throat> that is currently what we're working on. Last episode, we did go on a mission to an ancient complex. We did not find our holy relic, but truly we started our quest for the holy relic because we should be finding out more information about it soon. Um, I am recording this before that episode goes up, so you guys have already commented, no doubt, explaining the relic to me, where it's at, stuff like that. I have not seen those comments, and I am very sorry about that. Um, so hopefully we see something like here in a minute <laughs> about that, that we, you know, uh, that way we can, uh, we can check it out. But I'm trying to work on the town square to see if we can pretty it up a little bit. Um, oh, the eclipse is ending. Good. We need power. Give me power. We really need to try and invest in more batteries. Every time we have an eclipse, we end up just completely losing power to everything, so we need to make more batteries. I think we have a lot of components, don't we? Let's look in our... Oh, God, yeah, look at that. We got 41. I mean, we will burn through them quick, though, if we're not careful, so... Gotta be careful, but I'm going to make a large battery and put in here, and then we'll connect it up. And that way, we have that to store extra power because once these fill up you know we're basically not having any more power I am uh, I am really stuffing <laughs> the uh, the build build orders though so that's kind of becoming an issue I need to need to cool it a little bit give them time to catch up on some of that stuff actually I don't want to do any of that down here I don't want them to see those corpses we need to build something around those and possibly uh, possibly burn those bodies seems like what we would do right especially like mage witch corpses stuff like that and the ferals and everything like the the disgusting scum of the earth these these freaks seems like we would uh probably burn their bodies oh look at these cobras <laughs> it's so cool from the episode where we had all the cobras attack you can see their little skeletons oh look at this guy was he a what was he? I assume he was a... Oh, he's a troll. Oh, yeah. The trolls are pretty cool. They're just freaky looking. They are freaky. This is almost built. This is going to take a while. My issue is... I don't know if I like these trees. They're not bad, but... What if we done... No, don't cut it. What if we moved one? from each side and then put another flowers th thing over here I mean I don't think that would look bad would it let's try that we can always put some back if we need to I like the poplar trees though they're pretty 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 I want to see what the art will be on this once it's complete as well I was thinking though should we move this up like that it might be pretty good it looks kinda more like a park I think in that regard can I move you? Not until that's moved. I think it'd look more like a park, though, if these were right across from one another. And then we could put, like, a barrel and stuff in and our bucket somewhere. Put our bucket in. I guess we could put the bucket here, couldn't we? Eh, maybe not. It's not bad right there. I like to think of it, like, in here. Like a ye old-timey hospital when they, the only medicine for, like, <laughs> like, a really messed up limb was to cut the limb off. I just like to think that they discard their blood rags and <laughs> severed limbs into that. Uh, we do have these urns that we got from our trip. Um, I would like to think that Gabriel and Leviathan would keep these for their homes as like holy relics or something. Not really holy relics because they weren't really from a holy site, but you know what I mean. 
And maybe we would put some in the dining room and stuff too to beautify the place. Scatter them around. Because Levi Leviathan does already have one, so... Um, I guess we could put another... Where could we put another? Here. We could put one there. And... Oh my god, we've got too many of them. We'll figure it out. <laughs> I guess we could put some in the church. We already have some in there. Oh, we could put some in the uh, in the workshop. They'll like those. They'll like looking at those, so we'll put one there. And... Put one there! Sure. Uh, no. I'm being a little bit, uh, being a little bit crazy here with our urns, aren't I? Let's put it there. Need to get some lights and flooring in here. Um, ooh, it's done. Well, kind of. Let's replant this over. Uh, it doesn't matter. They'll move it automatically. Let's put down another flower wall here and here, and then I think I'm going to try to make a border there. What does this say? <clears throat> Ooh, Leviathan's Rhythm, I already love it. An engraving on this furniture represents Leviathan poised over the chess table, playing his next action. Two clowns are playing as well. The scene takes place inside a village built near a plane. The work seems to express struggle. This image relates to Leviathan playing games at the chess table on the 15th of December, 5500. So what I like about that is it's kind of like Leviathan is... In charge, obviously, which he is in, you know, in the colony, and he's playing against um, clowns, which may like, um, I don't know, uh, <laughs> kind of signify like unworthy opponents, right? So it's kind of like, I, I don't know, it's like a representation of his intelligence in the center of the town. I love it. Absolutely love it. Let's go ahead and do a, I want to do a border here. I don't think I can do it like that, though. But I'll try it and see. I think that'll help line things out, though, if I can. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Easy now. Easy. We'll just go ahead and delete those. Don't worry about it. Because that's not going to work. And I want to get this moved up. There we go. Yeah, that's not going to work. To <laughs> it's all right, though. Those flower walls look good. Um, should we... Do flower walls over here as well? Am I getting too crazy with it? I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, maybe not there. Yeah, I don't think that would look too bad. <clears throat> we'll see how it looks. I hope I'm not spending too much time on Times Square. Or Times Square? <laughs> Town Square. Um, I just really like it. I think it looks really good. Um, we could put a barrel here. It's not a bad place for a barrel. I guess. But yeah, I really like that. That looks pretty good. We'll try and add more to it. I'm not very good at designs like this in RimWorld for outside, like a park. Because you, you know, like, I, sh I should get other things because, um, who, famine, can you go get, yeah, you are, thank you. Um, you know, I, I should really get stuff like a, um fountain and stuff i think that would look good we could probably download some mods or something for that i'll have to check it out but this doesn't look bad for what it is right now <clears throat> i like it pretty sure do we have a new foal yeah we have a new foal so i'll have to look at the comments soon and name some get some names for our new foal um you are why are your names not displaying what am i looking for here where's Hold on. Animal names. Show animal names. Tamed. Yeah. Okay, so you don't have an... Uh, we probably want to do all of them, don't we? Like any of them that are tamed. I'm sorry. I think when I switched to the new PC, it didn't have the that turned on. I normally keep that on. I like it. All right, I would like to also <clears throat> start putting some lights around town. I guess we need to get the pathing done in the town, though, don't we? Before we start doing that. So we should probably get the light dirt path. Is that already done over here? Oh, it, yeah, it does. Oh, okay, okay. The terrain here is already light dirt path. Oh, I guess it is. Yeah, why am I not? Ugh, I'm losing my mind. Losing my mind. I need to deconstruct this and make an underground one because that is uh above 
<laughs> above ground. Boredom? Who's bored? You guys are bored? Well, we have a billiards table. Did you not want to play that? Uh, I guess we could get you guys, could get you guys a pretty little, a pretty little table and put a, let's see, you're right there. So it should be one square around you. We'll put a table here and put a, uh, we could put a radio there. We do have the, that's fine. We do have the, uh, components for it. So we could give them a radio and stuff now in their rec room, a recreational house. Um, I suppose we could start making some progress towards flooring this. Whoa! Hey guys, everybody wake up! Wake up! Fire! Fire! In our beautiful new town square! That couldn't be a good sign. I have a feeling that's a sign that we're going to be attacked or something by disgusting <clears throat> mages or something of the sort. Let's go ahead and build that like that. We'll get these deconstructed. And we'll bring it straight in there. I just don't want to be able to see it. I know it makes the place ugly. Ugly, ugly. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and try and start doing this, though. We'll have to bring some power into here. And we will just go ahead and bring this straight down. Uh, do we want to bring it this way? And something like that, maybe? I know it's looking kind of stupid, but what I'm going to do is put a light over like here, 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 and here on this little grid. <clears throat> and that way, uh, oh god, fire's everywhere. And that way, uh, we, uh, we can put those lights on it and it won't have the, uh, the little, this, the cable, like where it's plugged in or whatever. I think that'll be pretty good and it should light this entire area up, if I'm not mistaken. Go ahead and clear that. I have a bad feeling about these fires. <laughs> We're probably not going to have too many trees anymore here shortly. Uh, let's go ahead and get those lights set up. And we will begin flooring in here momentarily. Uh, I also need to set up our zones still for this, uh, this place, but that's fine. We will. It's a little off-center, isn't it? Yeah, it's okay, though. Is it? No, it's probably not. I don't think I like that. <laughs> Uh, is that more centered up? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Right there. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good. And that does indeed light the entire area up. So, we have the zones here for the chunks. So we should do zones. We'll do that there. I want to have an area where we can walk. Do it like that for block. Uh, raw resources, stone blocks. Perfect. And I want to... Let's see. I want to take stone blocks out of there, and eventually, slowly but surely, they'll get that moved over, and we'll get all the blocks put in here. I'm actually going to go ahead and use up a bunch of the flooring material while we have it. Might as well. We have plenty of chunks to cut, so we should be fine. Um, I never did decide on the ones that I wanted, though. I think I'm going to do... I guess I'll do the alternating. They look pretty good. So let's do... We'll go ahead and do that. It's going to take a while. Going to take a while. Do I have this turned on still? Yeah. It'll unpause automatically. Another fire. That's quite all right. We don't need to be over here beating that out. Don't worry about that. You guys go home. Go home. I hope it doesn't burn our traps, though. <clears throat> Good thing we made our walls out of stone. I hope it rains. <laughs> I wish it would come a good rain and get rid of that fire. Major break. What's up, Leviathan? Leviathan, you're never happy, are you? Never happy. Recreation deprived. My man. My man. I got you. I'm going to build a radio. Calm down. Wooden radio. Calm down. You will have your radio. I would also like to... I don't know if we can do it in here. We're probably running out of room. <clears throat> uh, we could probably do it up here or something. I'd like to do a television and kind of let them all sit. Like this could be the dining area and this could be something separate. Oh my god! Look at all these... Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? What are you doing? Jesus! Whoa! Leviathan, stop! 
Oh my god! Oh my god, dude! Stop! He's, it's because it's stuffed. It's stuffed to the brim. Look at this. Oh, jeez. Come on, dude. Oh my god. Oh, Leviathan, you're so... I don't want to say stupid, but you're being crazy, dog. You're crazy! Let's get all this hauled out. Oh my god, we got too much food that we... We should try and sell it. Look at all these pumpkins. Too many pumpkins. Never thought that that would be a thing. Look at all these meals we have. Oh my god. No storage space. Oh, I was going to say, we should have some room. I guess we need to mine out more. <laughs> this is too much food, right? But I mean, I guess it's not bad in case we decide to get some nomads or something. That way we can, you know, we can uh, try to feed everybody. I mean, it'd probably just be in our best interest to sell a lot of these pumpkins. I mean, I'm going to let this stuff just sit out here and rot. My God, because they won't eat insect meat. Because they'll get really upset if they have to eat insect meat. Go eat. Oh, my lord. Leviathan, please. Magic is returning to normal. Cool. Yeah, I mean, I think this looks pretty good. This flooring here. Yeah, I wish they'd never they'd never butchered those insects. Um, I want to do insect corpses. Negative. Don't butcher those because they will not eat them. Hey, what are you guys? I didn't pay attention. Nobody wants to trade, do they? Oops. What are you guys? Visitors. A group. You're just visiting the colony? You don't want to trade? Can anybody here trade? Not that I see. Where's a where, where's somebody that might want to trade? I would think that they would trade with us. You? Arcane items collector. You know, normally we don't trade with these filthy mages, but desperate times come for desperate measures. And you know what, really? They still are neutral with us, so we should probably trade with them. Not as an act of goodwill, but an act to benefit us so that we can so it, that we can build our empire even bigger. And that way, when we get big enough to take them, we're not fools. Leviathan's not a fool. He no oh, look at this filthy mage. Leviathan may hate mages. Naturally, but what are you? He knows that we would need a technomancer. Cool. And you are not the same person, Fire Mage. But I feel that he knows that we could trade with them and by doing so profit from them, right? So I, I think he knows. I think he knows. Okay. <laughs> so let's get these. Let's get these. I've still got those clicked. I want to send Gabriel out to see if we can trade with them. We'll sell them food. Mostly just because I want to get rid of all this food. But I think he knows, you know, we're going to try and build the Empire bigger even by trading with them for the time being. Do you want pumpkins? Oh, you don't want pumpkins. You people sicken me. <laughs> Digestible. Ooh. Resurrector nanites? High-tech glitter world. Unsafe to drink directly due to the bitter taste and mild case... However, when cooked properly into food, these effects implicitly seem nullified. Any pawns with this present upon death? <gasps> oh, wow. <clears throat> we should probably... Digestible Resurrector Nanite. So, if a pawn eats this... Whoa, that's cool. So if a pawn eats this, we have to cook it in the food. But if they eat it, when they die, it brings them back to life. That is insane. I love it. Do you want to sell any of you? Not not like the named ones. We could sell foal here for $71. But what would we, Oh, we have two foals. We could sell two foals because we're just going to keep making more. If we name them, I'm not going to sell them. But at a certain point, I need to just... I need to neuter and spay our horses so they stop having so many darn babies. But I think for the moment, as long as we can, we could go ahead and sell some. Um, it's only 142 Um... Anything else digestible? I want to buy those, but, you know, uh, they're expensive. Uh, smoke leaf, you guys would take jade and uranium. Yeah, I bet you would. bet you would. Um, glitter world medicine wouldn't be bad to have, but they're expensive. Um, 
Yeah, I'll sell you two horse. Two horses. <clears throat> Go ahead and hold that back in. Normally, like I said, we don't trade with mages. I'm trying to justify it in my own head. Uh, normally, we don't trade with mages, but this one time we will. This one time. You know, we'll trade here and there in desperate times when we don't have room for things. And, you know, when we're wanting to profit off of them a little bit. Let's go ahead and mine out these components. And this is our freezer. Again, I need to smooth these walls. I might give them that project when stuff like this is complete. Let's let them smooth all the walls. Why did these visitors leave? Like, they came? I mean, I get they just came to visit, like a, a show of goodwill. But I thought it was a little a little odd. Huh? I've been trapped. Are digging out to escape? No, why? You're not trapped. Where are you going? Don't dig out. Oh. That didn't make any sense. I, I guess the AI thought maybe they were trapped. I mean, there's a door there, guys. You can You can go through the door. Go through our beautiful town square where you see the giant art of the giant um, um, <clears throat> stell or steel, whatever, <laughs> of uh, Leviathan playing chess, showing you how intelligent he is. His intelligence is unmatched by mere mortal man. He has divine wisdom from God himself. Getting a little crazy, aren't I? <laughs> Let's go ahead and... I'm not going to put a smooth order. I was getting ready to say I would, but I'm not going to. Because I want this complete. I mean this... I don't know. I, I'm very neutral about this. It doesn't look bad. Do we want to do some art or anything? I'm trying to think. I'm waiting on a quest from Starcaller again since we found out information, but I haven't gotten anything so far. Um, <clears throat> you guys are probably yelling at me if you know something that I don't, and I guarantee you that you do, because... I'm not not a very smart man. Um, ooh, we have chitin. We got chitin, I think, from those bugs from butchering them. Maybe it is worth butchering them. We could make chitin armor. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll 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 turn that on again. Cause we get uh, even with the terrible meat. I'll leave the stockpile up so it can just sit out there. <clears throat> but uh, chitin, you can make weapons and armor and stuff, so I think that's pretty cool. And I'm sure we'll be able to sell it for something. So we have 30 of that. What can we build out of that? Can you build walls? Oh, <clears throat> we got sterile materials. I forgot all about that. Um, Where's sterile tile? This takes silver. Steel and silver. It's a lot of silver. How much would it take? It's a lot of silver. <laughs> We're trying to up our silver anyway. That way we could... You know, doing here. I would probably do the kitchen first, to be honest with you. That way we don't keep getting... Um, which, I don't think that food poisoning is that big of a deal for us. But, you know, it does happen here. So, that we could put it in there and it not be an issue. Goodbye. We have a really large freezer. I hope somebody starts buying our stuff because we, we got too much, honestly. A little bit too much. What are we... We're doing geothermal, aren't we? <clears throat> you know what? After geothermal, I am going to do... I am going to do... Where's it at? Is it down here? No, it's under production. What am I thinking? High-tech research bench. Because with the high-tech research bench, we will be able to research uh, advanced power and things like that. I want to get that styling table put in here. It's not really production, <laughs> but it's pretty good, I guess. Um, yeah, I like how this is coming along, though, and they've got most of that flooring done. They're cutting more. Let's go ahead and do... Whoa! Siege! The Shooters. Hello. Oh, and they're dropping in. Top of the map, huh? Okay. Cool. Cool! Alright. Uh, we got some time. Let's deal with this. Let's go say we'll call it an episode and then do deal with it next episode. But we'll try to deal with it. What you what you guys rocking? Ooh, marksman rifle. That looks cool. So some of you are humans. What are you? Human? What are you? Oh, dwarf. Cool. So you guys got marksman rifles, makeshift compact machine gun. Uh, you have some feral weapons. And what are you? <clears throat> you are a warlock. Cool. I think I know that already what I'm going to do. 
want to make sure nobody's out though. Where are they setting up their camp? Right there. All right. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to let. I love that Luvas Foss is going to write spell break of all the <laughs> all our ponies. All right. Hop on there, pal. I need you. So what we're going to do? I'm going to send Luvas Foss out up here. And I think I'm going to... Lou Vosvos in himself, he's like a one-man army. We're going to put that to the test right now. I am going to... Send out the spirit wolves on them. First and foremost. Then, what we're going to do is chain lightning. And we'll try and do it quick. So let's go ahead and plop the spirit wolves down. <gasps> Ooh, they're already shooting. Did that hit? No, it did not. Ah, <laughs> spirit wolves. Jaw. <gasps> oh, I thought they were attacking. I was like, huh? I'm so dramatic. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and who should we aim at? Probably you there, right? I want to make sure I can get a lot of damage in, though. This probably would be pretty good. Here, on you. <laughs> oh, the armor deflected. That's awesome. Whoa, there you go. Come get some more, pal. All right, Luvasos, come on home. Oh, I bet they are assaulting the colony now. <laughs> uh, look at this. <laughs> you fools, you fools. It took nothing to defeat you, really. God, I love Luvasos. I'm so glad we have good slaves. They truly are. I need to look into doing the whole scribing table and stuff and removing their magic so they can be, quote-unquote, redeemed in God's eyes. But, uh, I mean, they they honestly, I think he's honestly earned it. They really have. They, they help out with these raids so much, they are super helpful. All right, so we're going to get famine here. Um, Valentine, what's your range on that, partner? That's pretty good. Miksu, you too. Stand behind that turret. Uh, Luvasvas. You, sir. Down here, sir. Leviathan, I'll let you stand there. Or here, I guess. Uh, Wombat. Hey, I'm sorry. My dog is freaking out outside, guys. I hope you can't hear him. Give me just a second. Let me take care of that. <laughs> I'll be right back. Apologies. I have returned. My dog was freaking out on his own water bowl. Does he not know that there's a raid about to happen? Probably not. Look at that. Mischief is already pregnant. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, those horse, they like, oh, I swear, they, they, uh, they will repopulate the earth. All right, so let's see who we can use old magic missile on. You there, you look like a good target. Oh, the embraziers. Embrazias! Did Wombat, yeah, Wombat got shot. <gasps> Ooh, Gabriel, ah! In the right leg. Let's try and take them out. Ah, oh, Gabriel's getting hit pretty pretty bad. Uh, magic missile again on I guess let's get Tina here. We don't want any melee people coming at us. Valentine's been hit. So I'll try to focus fire here. Come on, Famine. They're shooting in through the embraziers at us now. <laughs> the old Uno reverse card, huh? Uh, why is this one retreating? I guess he's just been damaged too much. Uh, no more spirit wolves or chain lightning to save us, looks like. Oh, God. Gabriel, get out of there. Um, we'll leave famine, I guess. Ah, uh, we should probably back famine up as well. <gasps> oh, Gabriel. Uh, rescue. Go on. Oh, come on, Famine. Go, go, go. Get out of there. I hope we don't lose anybody. This is getting to be a bit rough. Come on, Famine. Run. Just go. Don't... Oh, Famine. Just go and not fire at will and have you run. Oh, they are fleeing, it looks like. Thank God for that. How bad off are you? Uh, pretty bad off, but you're not dead, thankfully. You know, I think it's a bad idea to have these turrets here like this, to be honest, now that I think about it. Oh, Valentine, come on! <laughs> oh my god. I don't know why they're fleeing. If they kept pushing, they could take the whole darn colony. Oh, run away! Go, go! They're still shooting. 
Get out of there. Oh, they're shooting at our turrets. See, you know, I don't think it's... Like this one here? If this one goes, I'm almost positive it's going to blow. So... That was a good raid, though. I mean, we handled it. <laughs> it wasn't great, but we handled it. Uh, Leviathan. Go ahead and... Yeah, tend to Gabriel. Wombat. Can you... Can you tend to yourself? How good are you? Go ahead and rest over here, buddy. Uh, Miksu. I actually need you to attend to Famine real quick. Uh, Luvasvas. Who's assigned to doctoring? Who are my doctors? Doctor, doctor, doctor. Miksu. I've already got you. Luvasvas, no. Valentin can do it, So, but he is also healing. So this is bad because we're running low on doctors. I'll let Luvasvas do it just because we need somebody to tend to Valentin and make sure that he's not dying. So Gabriel, Wombat, you just have a little bit of a, a thingy. You got a little little bit of a gunshot, nothing too big. We handled it, but that was a little too close for comfort on most of this. And Luvasfoss is going to take forever to get uh, get him healed. Oh my god, what happened? What blue? Tending. Go tend. What was that? What? What was that? What is this? <gasps> what? What is this? Oh my god, what? What? What's happening? Quest failed. What is this? What's happening right now? What just happened? Oh my god, we just lost our two leaders. What just happened? Oh my god. What was that? What just fell out of the sky? What were those? What could some... Oh my god, what were those? What just happened? Oh my god. What? What? I guess I'll just have to build a dag on um stuff now that uh, uh what just happened? I don't understand what that was. Gabriel, Leviathan, you both just died. It fell in, but what fell on the roof? Oh, that looked like sorcery. <laughs> mages, mages, witches. Oh my god, what was that, people? That was crazy. All right, okay, we have to... Okay, next episode. I don't know, if you guys know what that was, please tell me. What was that? It just fell and killed Gabriel and Leviathan. Oh my god! I don't have a place for them yet. Um, I mean, we'll, we'll mine a spot out, of course. Um, <laughs> what? Jesus, man! Let's go ahead and just dig into here, I guess. Um, wow, this episode's running long now. But, um, wow, what? I mean, <laughs> what was that? I was not expecting that at all. I'll, I'll mine this out. I don't know who's going to mine it out, though. Who's going to mine it out? <laughs> That's crazy. That is crazy. Let's put them in the freezer. Let's put them in the hay fr I know it sounds disgusting, but what just happened? What happened? Somebody please tell me. I don't understand. <laughs> Let's get them hauled. I mean... Hall Leviathan, you should be taking him over there. And please haul Gabriel next. Be gentle with their bodies. You know, we do... I think there might be the Resurrectum serum and stuff in this. So we could probably try and bring him back to life. But... Oh my god, guys. Come on. What what happened? Could someone please tell me what happened there? That's crazy. 
Was that? I don't know what that was. Oh, you there. You. Are you good? I know this is running really long. You are a night owl and jealous, but I want to. Oh, no, you're going to die. I don't have enough time. That's fine. We'll try to we'll try to recruit more people, but oh my god. All right, all right. The episode's run too long. I have no idea what happened. If you guys know what happened, please let me know. That was insane. How did that even happen? Famine almost died too. Pretty sure and uh, Valentine. Oh my god. All right, guys. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much for watching though. If you guys know what just happened there, please somebody for the love of god tell me. Thank you though for watching. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, guys.